This is Blues View. Coming up, we look ahead to Survival Sunday. Hello and welcome to Blues View. I'm Paul Bradley and I'm joined in our Fort Dunlop studios by Birmingham City correspondent Colin Tatum. Hi Colin. Hello. Well, we're looking ahead to Survival Sunday, mm. but first of all, we can't uh, go on to that without really talking about the awards due at the weekend and the controversy of the, the party, as it were, mm-hmm. afterwards. What do we know about it and what sort of effect is that going to have leading up to Survival Sunday? Um, well, in a nutshell, uh, obviously it was it was Monday, it's, it's six days before the Spurs game, but that said... Um, the players obviously shouldn't have gone out afterwards. In my understanding, it was it was only sort of half a dozen to eight of them. They weren't blind, steaming, drunk, rolling around Broad Street, etc. But um, it was not clever. It, it was pretty poor. That um, obviously they stayed out when when they were expected to be tucked up in bed once the, the awards had finished. Um, and of course, the circumstances, how it emerged, how it how it sort of was found out via Twitter was. Um, well, I suppose that's the modern way now, isn't it? But regardless of, of that, um, Alex McLeish obviously was not happy. Uh, reflect badly on him, it reflects badly on the club and also the players. Um, on the flip side, the, if anything, maybe it could galvanise them. Uh, they'll be suitably chastised. They know the fans uh, are not impressed. Uh, therefore, they might close ranks a little bit more and give that little extra effort on, at White Hart Lane. But they know they've done wrong. Um, you know, I think we all have to let off steam some time, but there is a, you know, the right time and a place to do it. And unfortunately, that that wasn't it uh, after the award ceremony. Okay, then let's look ahead then to the to the game itself against Spurs on Sunday. It's an absolute minefield of a game mm-hmm. for for McLeish on how we should approach it. What are your thoughts on the strategies that he may be considering at this point? I, I mean, I'm sure like every other supporter, I, I've thought about it and my brain's been scrambled, so I'm sure the management's brains have been scrambled because should they go really adventurous and try and score goals to get the win? But we know Birmingham aren't the sort of team that can do that. And if they leave themselves open against a side like Spurs, who have got pace and they can kill you on the counter-attack, that could be suicidal. But as you said there, if if they keep it tight, they might, you know, you know, they might need to score to win, but... There again, they, they could survive on goal scored, so they can't ship too many. It, it's it's really going to amount to a sort of the severest test of, of Alex McLeish and his coaching staff's in-game yeah. ability to react to what's going on. But the bottom line, uh, what, it, what it comes down to, that they have to win. They can't rely on other results and get caught up with what is going on elsewhere. They've got to try to win now. Whether how the team is set up to do that, I don't know. I don't, you know, and it depends on players who are fit of course as well but they've just got to win and then hope that the cards do fall in their favour elsewhere. I suppose it's going to be a test of nerves as well for the players. Mm. One possible way of doing it, I suppose would be to do what Blues are good at, keep it tight, mm. keep it a close game and then maybe look at it and maybe in the last 10 minutes and see what the results, maybe go for that win if they think mm. they, they need it and if, if other teams are losing 2 or 3 nil, then the, the pressure's off them. Yeah that, that, that is a possibility and, and, and the thing there is that in recent weeks um, Blues have been relatively tight and they've made a mistake which has cost them a goal and they can't recover from it. So, uh, But I, I just think there needs to be more energy, more zip uh, and more ingenuity about them on, on uh, Sunday because I just had that horrible feeling after the Fulham result that they look shot through, they look dead on their feet. Now they have got players coming back which is good and they should have the bit between their teeth But and if they pull it off it will be... To be honest, it will be quite incredible because you know the way it has been going in, in the last few weeks. You know, you do fear the worst. And you mentioned there some of the players could be coming back. What's the team news at this early stage? Um, Blues hope that Cameron Jerome will be fit. He's been having treatment all week, and without a doubt, they need somebody of his pace and power and running ability just to stretch the game. Otherwise, that they'd that, be pretty one-dimensional. Um, Alexander Hleb, he's out, needs an operation, three months. Uh, Fulham seem to be going on a kicking fest to, to sort of collect cards not to get in the Europa uh, League via the fair play route apparently and he unfortunately was victim of that, he's out, David Bentley cannot play uh, against his parent club but Craig Gardner, Liam Ridgewell do come back so there's pros and cons but again you know we said it before that Blues uh, are missing and have missed the likes of McFadden, Zigic, Martins but there's nothing to do about that now, it's all about this game, it's all about what they put in and, and, and what they conjure up to, to get that win. And just looking at it from the perspective of the manager, 
Is he going to be fearing for his job if Blues go down, or do you think he may have the backing to, to bring them back up if the worst did happen? I, I think the board uh, have not made their minds up yet, from what I can gather. Um, I think whatever the result will be on Sunday, they will take stock on, on the sort of Monday and Tuesday and then decide. Um, personally, it wouldn't surprise me if a change was made, but it wouldn't surprise me if Alex McLeish stayed on as well, regardless of what division they're in. I don't think anything is cast in stone um, and I think Birmingham will take will take a bit of time just to take stock of everything and, and not just make a knee-jerk reaction. Um, and you know we'll see what happens um, and we'll see how the dust settles Monday, Tuesday. OK, Colin, well, thanks for your thoughts today. It's going to be an intriguing day, an intriguing 90 minutes on Sunday. We'll be back again next week with more Blues View.